guys, my name is Sura and welcome back to my channel. So as you know, we're currently in Ramadan. Today is the last day of Ramadan and I'm currently fasting. But I wanted to say happy Eid to all my Muslim friends as tomorrow is the first day of Eid and it just it marks also the end of another Ramadan. Hopefully I will see you all next Ramadan. I have been like I moved the camera because I thought it was crooked but anyway I've been neglecting myself a lot lately uh, I'm the kind of person who I'm not being presented to other people I don't take care of myself uh, yes I thrive over people's attention but that is the truth I'm just being honest with you guys like I haven't been taking care of myself at all and so I thought this would be like the perfect chance to do a self-care check and speaking of self-care did you listen to Augusty's new mixtape D2. It was so so freaking good. I listened to it three times now. It came out yesterday and the MMV. Wow, that was like literally my friend just sent me like Yes, indeed, that was a spiritual experience. Like I can't believe that happened. You know, Yungi was my first voice. Uh, I listened to the album and I wanted to tell you guys like my thoughts about each song, if you don't mind. I'm gonna say, speak like of the order of the album, how it is. So the first song is Moonlight and it kind of has like a 90s vibe. I really enjoyed it. The second song on the album was Digita and that was, is this the one that has a video and MV for it? Uh, it has a historical setting in Joseon, I think, uh, but wow, first of all, the music video was so, so beautiful, like, oh my god, like, he really needs to act, that was so well done, the song, it's just like, well, it's a powerful song, I can literally beat COVID when I listen to it, like, I don't know, it just makes me so powerful, affection, and I really, really like it, the third song is What Do You Think, and mentions that he has, like, big house, big cars, and big rings, and big rings, like, we're really coming in full circle, like, because in No More Dreams, he said, I went to big house, big cars, and big rings, it's kind of a sassy song for the haters, you know? He, his voice really changed a lot and he just went crazy, like his voice went mad in that song. And the third song is Strange featuring Nam Juna and in that song I just felt like it gives a mysterious vibe and it's a song you listen to while you're going on a walk and you kind of feel down or depressed, like I would do that. But in, in the next song is 28 by featuring Niwa and I really love the way he played with his voice in this song and I really really love this song, this is one of my favorites. I love his tone in this one and it's a song that you can just vibe with you know you get me then the next song is burn it featuring max and this is one of the uh, this is also one of the powerful songs it has a fast beat but in the background if you notice there's traditional music so i loved that contrast the next song is people and this is also one of my favorite songs the way i just loved it i thought i thought it was like a sweet and cute song i don't know the lyrics of all of the songs but in people i just felt like it was sweet and cute i don't know maybe it's the way that he says why so serious and it just felt like I don't know, it's his tone, it was so adorable and cute and he was chuckling in it and I was like, okay babe, like, go on. Next song is Hansul, which it, it literally translates to drinking alone. I mean, social distancing king. In the song, it's his, it has like that deep, I, I, I don't know, like synthesized a scary voice, but it, like it scares me, but also really intriguing. And it's a song that I can feel, I, I felt like it's a song you can listen to at 3 a.m on a drive or something. Just a song that's gonna get you in your feels but you're vibing with it, you know? There's Interlude Set Me Free and this is my favorite song of the whole album. Like I really love songs that kind of just uh, have like the euphoric high kind of feeling and this is totally like that and it's like my favorite song on the album even though it's like two minutes this is how i felt while listening to it it's a song that you listen to when you've been up all night and you can't sleep and then you see the sun has come out and it's already dawn and so you open your window and you feel the fresh cold air on your face that is how I felt while listening to Sammy. The last song is Dear My Friend and this is featuring Kim Jong-un, the king. I love that man. He is uh, the main singer or the main vocalist of the band Nell, one of my favorite, favorite bands in the world. I just love his voice. He really added a touch to the album. Uh, the song Dear My Friend, it's about, it's actually based on a real story of uh, Yoongi and his best and his friends from Daegu who ended up going to jail. And in the song, he's just reminiscing about their past and talking to him and he's also like confronting him about what happened. It's a really, really sad song. It's gonna get you in your feels and you're gonna cry. These are my thoughts about it. 
Yoon Gi Rog's D's new mixtape. Please go listen to it, do yourself a favor, and self care. So, speaking of self care, I haven't really been taking care of myself at all, like I said, but since Eid is tomorrow, I think it's a month. So, yeah, we're gonna take care of ourselves in this video. I'm gonna show you my process. To be honest, I do this like every Eid because during Ramadan, I'm just a mess. So, so yeah, this is a self-care check as I said and I'm going to take a shower So of course I can't take you with me But about uh, what I do in the shower, I want to tell you about all the products that I use I want to tell you guys about what the products that I use in shower So first of all, let's talk like shampoos and stuff I use the Love Beauty and Planet shampoos These I felt like they're really really good because before I used to use like um cosmetic shampoos or stuff like you know wearing hijab when you're wearing hijab you stop kind of caring about your hair didn't cut it because my hair started falling a lot and i needed to take care of it and so i started using shampoos that didn't have silicones or parabens in them like these these are vegan the, it says vegan and it's cruelty free and it has like organic materials and it has no silicones or parabens or colorants because these things especially the silicone it makes your hair frizzy and your ends like really really bad and makes them uh, makes hair fall out so when i started using these i truly saw a different and my hair really became smooth and less started falling less i don't use a conditioner in the shower because i make i don't know any conditioner i use it makes my hair fall and then I just used like any shower gel currently I'm using this Shia and Ginger uh, bath and shower gel, like any kind. Before I used to use only Lush. I really love Lush products. Lush closed here in Turkey, unfortunately. So we don't really have any Lush products here. I hope they reopen. Uh, though with this pandemic, I don't know what's gonna happen, but yeah. And this might seem a little bit extra to uh, some people, but actually I, sh you, I shower in really, really, really hot water and makes my, because my skin is really sensitive when I shower um it becomes really irritated and so i use this in shower pack this is from etude house and this is a mask that you use before you go into the shower so you put this on you put a thick layer it's like a gel material and it kind of protects your face or the skin from the heat so it won't get irritated and then as you're showering slowly you can wash off the mask uh before you go out and after i get out of the shower the first thing i do i put this on my hair it is avocado oil and i really noticed that it's amazing first of all it smells incredible avocado oil in general smells really good and it really helps uh soften the frizzy ends and soften the hair i really love it so i put this on and then i dry my hair with the um, air dryer and then i put this this is from misha and this is damaged hair therapy lotion i really really love this it really this really helped my hair a lot and i really am I really love it. Um, this is a total rebuy. It's from Misha, uh, as I said. After like I almost, I don't dry, after I air dry my hair, I put this again like only on the ends of my hair so they don't get frizzy. But yeah, so this is my process in the shower and I like my self care because I'm getting myself ready for my exams. My exams are in the 15th. They're gonna last until the 28th, I think. I'm not sure, but uh the moment ramadan finishes i don't really study in ramadan like i try but i couldn't focus at all so the moment ramadan finishes i'm gonna start studying for my finals uh, and i really just want the year to be done like yeah so for now it's time to get into the shower Hello guys, so I just got out of the shower. It might not look like it, but indeed, I just got out of the shower. Also, do you like my shirt? I bought a lot of new stuff for my birthday because treat yourself and whatnot, but I really want to show them to you, but I want to wait for everything to arrive to show it to you first. So I might do that video like in June. Um, yeah, so now let's do masks. I love masks, but today I'm just gonna do two i can do a whole video about masks if you want one more thing i wanted to tell you about washing your hair is that when you put shampoo when you're washing your hair with shampoo uh, don't make the foam on your head 
put the shampoo on your hand and then add a little bit of water and then start mixing it usually i mix it with like my fingers and create the foam on your hand and then add that to your hair that way you don't really irritate the scalp while you're trying to make the foam and you don't uh, keep like pulling your hair while you're trying to create a foam it really helps uh, my hair a lot so that it doesn't fall uh, so yeah I highly recommend you try that way so first of all before doing any mask you should always start with a clean slate so we are going to remove all these dead skin cells and trust me there are so much dead skin cells on my face right now and this is my favorite exfoliator so we're gonna exfoliate this is the neogen dermatology yeah this is both a chemical and physical exfoliator because these pads they are soaked in acid and and uh, it's just they're amazing and your skin feels so smooth after using them so with clean hands first of all let me wash my hands again um, so yeah now that my hands are clean i'm gonna take one pad of remove these ghost pads and this is what they look like they have two sides and the two sides are different so as you see this is the very rough side and this is a smoother size and you put your fingers in here first of all you do on a very dry face And this makes the skin so smooth if you have like i do this twice a week if you have because i have very dry skin for ordinary skin my sister does it like three times a week uh but recently i have been doing it zero times a week because i've been so lazy and so i had a lot of dry patches and these are amazing fix for dry patches so especially around the nose as well for the black heads and the forehead and the chin and now with the other side you flip it to the other side this side and a tap all the acids i think it has aha and bha in here and these two are very good exfoliators and skin and then you tap 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 And then when you dry it and when you're drying your face never use towels these are really irritating for the face tissue paper i feel like because with towels um, you're repeatedly using them acne and like this is the best this is my only good habit and i've been <laughs> doing this for the past like three years so after we did that after we exfoliated now our skin can absorb any kind of mask we're gonna put it for me and i've been breaking out all over this area right here actually maybe i should do a, like a calming mask first because i have been breaking out so let's do this uh this is the innisfree jade revolt Gummy color clay mask and this is in purple which is calming for calming the skin there are a lot of colors and each color is for a certain um as you can see it's purple and each color is for a certain uh it does a certain thing there are variety of them now and now we wait for it to dry so now that 10 minutes or so passed and it is dry as you can see so i am going to wash it off So yeah, and again, we dry it off. My last mask, I'm gonna use a Glam Glow Gravity Mud Firming Mask. This is a firming mask, but also very good for acne. Yeah, and you look like this, and you have to mix it up inside.
I will also wait for this to dry, but this takes longer to dry and when it dries, you just remove it like this. guys so i think half an hour or so went by as you can see it is very dry i was too lazy to get up and now we're gonna try to remove it let's do this perfectly okay I actually removed it like one go. Wow, I'm proud of myself. Achievements. So now for skincare. I'm so sorry for the mess. My room is such a mess. I don't even want to show you guys. Like, I really need to clean it. But now that my skin is very clean of uh, all kind of impurities, whether it was dead skin cells or on the inside, now I'm gonna do my skin. Uh, my skincare i i usually do i have been doing the korean skincare routine for the past seven or eight years uh, i've been doing it since i was 18 and now i'm 25 so i kind of know a lot about skin like really a lot i'm obsessed with skincare like it was my passion skincare was my passion to start this channel and it's also my passion in continuing med school as well because I want to be a dermatologist first of all I'm gonna start with an essence always this is the Porito fermented complex boosting essence what an essence does it uh, nourishes the inner skin because sometimes you use a moisturizer or a cream it only sits on the surface your inner skin is still you know thirsty and so you use a very light material essence is a very light material that will go straight straight away to your skin to your inner skin and it will nourish and hydrate from the inside next i'm going to use this and this is uh, thicker than an essence but lighter than a serum and it is supposed to be a cream like a normal moisturizer but in uh, liquid form and this is what wow it went down my sleeve but this is really moisturizing you can use it as an essence but i like layering because i have a very dry skin is i'm gonna use this laneige eye mask it's actually an eye sleeping mask it's really you good to use it at night for the eyes because it nourishes the eye area like all night you actually wake up and there's still some left i'm gonna use it now because my eye has been really tired like so tired my eye just gonna do this the, the cnp laboratory propolis deep moisture pack and it's like a, a very moisturizing mask and it looks like this Can you see this glow? It's been a while since I've seen it, honestly. Like, wow. Also, why do I look like this? I look so ugly in this hijab. I don't know why. Like, I look ugly every day, but especially today.
So these are my nails. Just happy that I cut my nails because I really like don't like uh, long nails because I don't know how to take care of them. Before I always used to go to salon. Now I can't. So yeah. Anyway. Um, so yeah, these were all for self care. I guess now the next thing is stomach care. I really need to eat. I am so hungry. Uh, it's currently 4:15. And at 8.30 we eat So I'm just gonna go chill and watch something Probably I wanna watch some YouTube videos I've been listening to a lot of music lately Yeah, I've just been discovering so much more bands from all over the world But I've been so into uh, Pinoy from Philippine bands and French ones and August D So I'm gonna go do that Vapor I'll go in I just don't know 